In your opinion, what is the most important thing about editing? For me, it's not whether or not your editing pacing is the best in the world. It's not if you can do cool captions, cool edits, cool animations. The most important thing about editing, and I hope you've had some time to think about this, is whether or not you can turn your editing into money. Because what is life if you can't take care of yourself, take care of your family, turn your passion into something that makes you money. To put it in short, my company has made for itself and all of our clients over $2 million. Now there are some crucially important tools that we use in every single one of our videos that we edit inside of CapCut. Those tools help us one, make better videos and in turn, make more money through those videos through product sales, conversions, leads, etc. Lastly, before we dive into those tools, it's so important not that you know the tools, but you know how to monetize those tools. So stick around and I'll explain exactly how you can use those tools to make money. Let's dive in. We use an adjustment layer in every project inside of CapCut. Now other tools like Final Cut, DaVinci, Premiere all have some sort of adjustment layer functionality. What sets CapCut apart and what is different and is gonna help you make money is what is inside of the adjustment layer. We've tested that brighter videos generally perform better on social media. There are those cases where a crazy bad quality video does well, but for us, in most cases, the better looking your video is, the brighter it is, the better it's gonna perform. Why that is, is because it goes way back to our caveman days where we would see a bright animal and immediately be able to tell that that thing is probably dangerous. We wouldn't wanna step on that, right? Therefore, when you're swiping on social media, you're seeing some low quality videos, as soon as you see a video that is popping out to you, it holds you, it grabs you, it hooks you in for that one second that it takes to maybe intrigue you about what that video is, right? So that is why brighter and better quality videos generally perform well. It's because they grab us in a split second, which is what it takes on social media. So inside of CapCut, it's as simple as going to adjustment and adding an adjustment layer. It's just gonna paste something onto your timeline. And let's look at what is inside the adjustment layer. In the adjustment layer on CapCut, we get all the color grading functionality that you could want. You get the choice to add a LUT and adjust temperature, tint, saturation, exposure, contrast, etc. All the clips underneath the adjustment layers get that color applied to it. So you don't have to now manually apply to every single clip your adjustment. Apply your color grade, apply your brightening, your better quality right to your adjustment and it's gonna affect all your clips on the timeline that are underneath that adjustment. Now these clips look cinematic and look great as is, but watch what happens when I enable my adjustment clip. Oh my goodness. Now all of a sudden we've gone from a clip that already looked good, but it's now brighter. It kind of intrigues your eye. The blues are popping, the greens are popping. For this one, again, we all thought it was a good clip, but when I enable that, oh my goodness, the greens from the trees are popping. And that is what you want. You wanna intrigue someone as soon as they see your video. What these better quality and brighter videos mean is that you will probably be able to get more views. And in today's world, views equal money in the form of sales, leads, and exposure. Scroll down to the bottom of the adjustment layer and there's something called clarity. Clarity, in my opinion, works super, super well just to add a healthy level of contrast to your image without really crushing or ruining the quality of the image. So you can see without it, and then with it, it helps everything stand out. I just think it really does increase the quality of the video in a way that doesn't look artificially sharpened and ruins the image. Another little secret before we move, because it's kind of like an adjustment layer. If you go to filters, find one called clear. Clear is another thing that we apply to most of our videos, and it just helps your videos generally stand out a bit more, just brighter, better quality. The next tool that is incredible for making money is CapCut's embed captioning tools. Why is this important? It's because all of our viral videos that we've had generally have some level of captioning. What this does is it creates a visual dynamism for our eyes. So the second we think maybe I'm bored of this video, we have something to look at that is changing on screen, which is the captions. Now with a click of a button in CapCut, you can add your captions directly to your video. Make sure that there's some words that you're saying within the video. All I'm gonna do is go to captions, auto captions, detect language. And what we can do here is say generate. And just like that, wherever there is spoken language inside of our video, we now have captions that are auto-generated. What's even cooler is that visual dynamism. If we select a caption, we can go to templates and then preview a template that we like. Let's say we really like this first one. We can now add that first one, which highlights the text as we speak. While you watch this video, I want you to pay attention to where your eyes are drawn. This is just a quick test to show you how amazing CapCut's captioning tools are. 
I'm sure that there was some instance within that video where you looked at the captions and that's what I'm speaking about. It just helps people stay intrigued into your video when there's a caption on screen. So that's why captions are an incredible tool to helping your video perform better. It's because of that visual dynamism so people are gonna watch your video longer. Our third tool to help you make more money is a text to speech feature directly inside of CapCut. What I love about this, again, just personally speaking from our portfolio, when you look at our viral videos, most of them have some sort of text to speech hook in the beginning. It is so simple to do this inside of CapCut. I'm just gonna drop this audio and add a text layer. Let's add default text. So I've put my text on screen saying CapCut is the best. Now all I need to do is go to text to speech and there are tons of different text to speech. A personal favorite, you've seen it on this channel, is Jesse. If I say start reading, that is gonna read the text that we've input and generate a voice as you hear now. CapCut is the best. And as simple as that, you're able to generate amazing audio for your videos in the click of a button. Now the fourth tool to make you money are shortcuts. This may seem weird, but with editing, time is money. It is important that you're able to edit fast and produce the best quality content in a limited amount of time. One shortcut that we use all the time are the Q and W keyboard keys. Watch what happens. What Q does is it deletes everything to the left of your clip. So if I highlight this clip and I don't want this for a second, I just have to click Q and it'll delete all of that in front of our clip. Now, if I click W, it's gonna delete all of what's after the point that we're selected on. Why this is a time saver is because I know a lot of people are still cutting the old way. What they're doing is they're clicking B to select their blade tool, they're finding the point, they're clicking the point, then they're going to select A to get your pointer, they're selecting that clip and clicking backspace. That is so many more inputs than just clicking one button. We could just click Q, and it's gonna delete everything behind that cut point. A great way to save time while you're editing. The fifth and arguably most important feature out of all of them is just CapCut in itself. I've spoken to so many different editors about CapCut. I've trained people on CapCut. I've trained some of you guys who are watching this on CapCut. And I think, well, I know we all agree that CapCut feels different to other editing softwares. It feels more intuitive to what we're actually wanting to do. When I compare it to DaVinci, Premiere, Adobe After Effects, Final Cut Pro, the barrier to entry, and what I mean by that is the level or time it takes to learn how to be a really professional CapCut editor is far less. What this means is you're able to become a professional editor and make great quality videos far quicker than people who are only using other softwares. Now, the monetizing portion of this video, how do we turn these tools into money? What all of these tools do is allow you to do two things. Be more efficient and deliver a better end product. And what that does to you as an editor, a videographer, a content creator, someone working with a client is get them more results, which is the biggest thing. Let me explain how. As an editor, you need to be able to work fast and produce the best quality product. It doesn't make sense for you to be spending a whole week on a video when you're next door editor is able to produce 20 videos in the same amount of time. What that means is the other guy is able to edit faster, get bigger scale projects, and ultimately make more money because he's making more videos. Unfortunately with editing, the time that you spend nitpicking or the time, the week that you spend on that one video doesn't always correlate to a week's worth of money. Editing is oftentimes product based. So the fact that you're able to produce more edits and be more efficient means that you're able to make more money. Ultimately, where you wanna be at is you wanna be in the most efficient workflow while still producing the best quality product, hence the tools that I've shared with you. As an editor, the most important thing is past success. It's your portfolio. It's how the portfolio of videos that you've edited has done for the client. It is no use having edited 100 videos and none of them actually produce any instance of value for the client. What does value mean for the client? It is awareness or it is sales for them. It is return on investment. They're gonna pay you and they expect a return back. So if your videos don't give them any value in those forms, you're unfortunately not gonna make it. So with these tools that I've shared and with CapCut, you're gonna increase your chance of being able to get awareness and being able to get sales for your client. Now, when you have a number of videos perform well on social media, it does a couple things. It builds your reputation. All of a sudden, clients can see 
that when they hire you for editing, there's a good chance that the video you edit is going to do better than somebody else's edit. What it also does is it gives you a sense of reputation where you can now charge more because you know that I edited this video and it produced a thousand dollars for my client or it made, it got a million views for my client. The value of your editing is therefore so much more than someone who's maybe going to get a hundred views or a thousand views, right? Or somebody who's only able to sell one product for their client. The better your edits, the more value it is for your client, the more value it is for your client, the more you can charge for your edits, right? There's one last thing that it does. As an editor, and I've felt this as someone who owns a company and edits and makes content. As a content creator, when you have videos that do well for your client, it builds your sense of confidence. Confidence is so crucially important in business and as a creative, I, I literally cannot even describe it. Because when I'm sitting on a meeting with a client and I'm selling my edits, I'm selling my videos, the, I don't want to fake, I don't want to lie to them, I don't want to make it seem like I've done amazing things and I haven't, but the fact that we have done amazing things means that I can sit on the call completely relaxed and say, client, you absolutely need our product, let me show you what we've done for other clients, and that is why you need it, is because if you don't go with us, you're going to be losing out on a lot of value. If you do go with us, you're able to get so much value. I'm not faking them. I'm not lying to them. I'm just being confident in the fact that we have a great product, that my edits are great, that my videos are great, and we're going to be able to provide that value in the form of awareness and sales for our client. And that is why past success and your portfolio is the most important thing. Why you need to use these tools is because it builds your sense of confidence, your sense of reputation, and ultimately you're able to land more clients and make more money. So I hope all of that makes sense. In conclusion, these tools that I've shared with you are going to allow you to be more efficient, hence make more videos in the same amount of time and get better end results for yourself and your clients, which is going to build your confidence, your reputation and allow you to charge more. I hope you found this insightful. I know there was a lot of theoretical stuff that I shared, but this is the way you need to be thinking as an editor. Think like a businessman and apply the fact that you can edit to that business. All right, guys, it's been a pleasure speaking to you and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.